Well, hey there, guys, and welcome back. On this week's show, a spooky Halloween decoration. Well, those of you that know me know that my wife and I love Halloween, and every year we put on this big extravagant display, and every year we try to add something new. And today's program is all about adding that something new. And I can't take the credit for the show, this is my wife's baby. So she will be out here helping us in the shop today, and it all starts off with some dollar store dog skeletons. Well, we went to our local dollar store and they had these dog skeletons. And we thought that this would be a good idea to kind of spooky them up. And although they do look pretty spooky as they are, we can do better. So this is a huge experiment, guys. We don't know if it's gonna work, but we thought it'd be fun to bring it to your attention. Win or lose, um, succeed or fail, <laughs> you're gonna see how it comes out. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take these dogs and we need to apply some um, plastic food wrap to them. So these are the two dogs that we're gonna be working on. And what we need to do is get two coats of cellophane or two layers of cellophane onto these dogs. And I'm gonna work on mine in layers. Are you working on yours in layers or in sections? Yes. Yes, so she is gonna work on hers in sections as well. I'm gonna start with the head, I think, and uh, work my way down, but let's get two layers of cellophane on here. So because they're dead, you're not trying to keep them fresh. So there's no need to get it all tight. In fact, if you can add some wrinkles to it and keep it so that it's not so perfect, that'll actually work out a little better for you. There's some areas here that are not sticking very well for me, and I will most likely end up with a little spray adhesive, give it a little blast, and tack down the parts that are trying to come up from where I want them. Well, I'm gonna start off with mine, and what you need is a heat gun. Um, not a hair dryer, it's not a powerful enough. You want a heat gun, because our object is to melt this cellophane and make it look like a kind of a decaying skin on our skeleton. All right, so as you can see here, we've kind of got this weird kind of a skin going on it here now with all of these wrinkles. You want to be careful. You got to remember this is melting plastic, so it could be very hot. Uh, just don't burn yourself on it. But I'm going to add another layer and uh, see how that's going to work out for me while my partner in the shop today does her dog and its rib cage. I definitely think I want another layer. These little gross melty bits are kind of what I'm going for. Well, you can see that her rib cage did come out like some skin and she really likes the effect of between the ribs, how there's kind of like stringy stuff in between, but it needs more plastic as this is only a couple layers. And now you can see with mine, I have now added quite a few more layers of plastic onto the head. In fact, I've given the head a shot of um, spray adhesive and stuck the plastic food wrap on there. So now I will continue to melt this to see if I can get that spooky decaying skin effect. I 
Again, I just caution you about the melting plastic. It's hot, so don't burn yourself. As well, I would also suggest opening a door or a window and getting some ventilation in your shop so that if there is any toxic fumes coming from this as it melts, you're not ingesting those. So um, I say just keep adding layers and keep melting, guys, because you can see he's starting to get pretty spooky. I don't know, I added a bunch of thin, I did mine in thin strips, no glue. And just kept putting it around, squashing it up, bunching it up where I could. And I'm hoping it'll end up looking like gross skin falling off his bones. <laughs> All right, here she goes, applying the heat. I don't like it when it smokes. <laughs> Try to grab it by its head and it just turns. You see here? That's kind of what I was going for. I'm trying to remember. Because he needs a name too, right? What was the name of the thing from The Exorcist who spun her head? Regan? What is wrong with you? Okay, it seems very loose and floppy right now, so I'm going to stop and let it cool. What is it that feels loose and floppy? The whole skeleton. Look at him. Oh, you're melting his butt. <laughs> well, no, not his butt. His spine. His middle, yeah. So I'm just going to stop and sit him properly and just let him cool and harden back up again. But he's looking cool. Well, while we're waiting for her dog to cool, I have added a couple more layers onto the head and we're gonna heat that up and see how we do with that. All right, so you can see how by building up those layers, we're getting that kind of spooky effect. Now we have had to open up uh, a window and a door as uh, the ventilation wasn't as what it should be, but we're good now, so everything's hunky-dory. So I'm gonna continue adding plastic wrap to this, and I will continue to hit it with the heat gun and melt it. Now remember, what you're doing here is you're trying to mimic rotting skin. So don't worry if it looks all droopy and, and gross like what this does, that's the object here. Well, I have placed spray adhesive around his rib cage, and I'm just gonna take thin layers here and wrap them around. Now I did get some spray adhesive onto his legs as well, so I'm having a bit of problem with it sticking there, but that's okay because that could be a cool effect if the loose skin is kind of bridging between the two, if you know what I mean. So you just want to continue adding cellophane and putting it on in layers and melting it until you're happy with the effect that you get. So I'm just gonna cut some smaller pieces and wrap around his legs, which I've also put some adhesive on, just like that. And I'll wrap the other one. I've also put another layer of spray adhesive up on the rib cage because I want to get a couple more layers there before melting. It's a sticky stuff. This is not a this is not a clean process. So don't think that you're gonna come out of this without getting sticky because you're not. Alright so now that we've got this uh I'm going to give it a blast with the heat gun here and see how we make out. I'll try not to melt his spine like my wife did. Learn from my mistakes. All 
right, and I think we'll let this guy cool down and then we'll add more cellophane and carry on from there. In the meantime, let's, uh, let's see how my wife's dog is coming along. So I think I have a more gentle method where my wife seems to just be grab it and bundle it up as best you can. <laughs> Stuck to the carpet. <laughs> Somebody sprayed spray adhesive on the carpet and now the floor is sticky. Um, yeah, I'm just twisting up the cellophane kind of as I go now this time. Like and that. I'm not using glue. I don't want glue on mine, so I'm trying the no-glue approach. Oh, so you're just wrapping it around. I'm wrapping sort of it thing. tight, yeah. And I put... Oh, that's exactly... I'm hoping this will be like a loose flap of skin in the end. Oh, she has a plan. <laughs> okay, she has a plan. I, I'm a guy. I've got no plan. I just come out here and fly by the seat of my pants. That's, that's what I'm doing. Oh, sh okay. She's, she's taking my method here. Okay, flying by the seat of her pants. So she's <laughs> wrapping. You, that's how all my crafts work. She's wrapping her legs, whereas I kind of just yeah. didn't wrap them. She's kind of going I'm like the mummy approach here. Because I discovered when I mushed up the the cellophane, is, is that's that how. A, is that a technical term? Very much so. That you that's mushed a, it up. Sorry, carry that's on. That's how I got these <laughs> sinewy bits, which I just love. So sinewy bits. Yeah. It's another technical term. I think that's a real one. Oh, okay. We got a real term here. See this, guys? This here is a scientific show. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, I blew it apart. What have you been eating? What's in his arm? Arm? Oh. <laughs> dogs have arms? Um, mine does. It's an army dog? He's got two armies. He's got four armies. No, he's got two. Oh, two armies and two leggies. Oh, he's got leggies. Oh, I think I melted him a bit. Yeah, he's a little wonky. <laughs> <laughs> so straighten him up and I let him dry. I do. Pulled his leg out the other way. Well, oh my goodness, now he's all knock need. There. Do you need something to help sit him upright? Mm, he's upright. <laughs> there you go. Okay, don't apply too much heat to these dogs. These things are most likely made from ABS, which has a very low melting point. And as you could see by my wife's wonky dog. Um, he's fine. Oh, he's fine now. <laughs> okay. He'll be it's, fine when he cools. It's a Halloween miracle. <laughs> But check it out. That's exactly oh. what I was going for. Can you see that? Nice. I hope it shows on camera. Me too. <laughs> and again, we'll just let it cool. And you can see how the cellophane is kind of melting and doing different things to uh, kind of look like decaying skin on the skeleton and we're going to be dyeing this a little later to help it look a little more like skin. I know it just looks like a bunch of plastic on it right now but uh, don't worry about it. We've got a plan or have we got a plan? We have a plan. We have a plan. Okay so we have a plan. We have a plan. <laughs> Well, I'm going to call mine finished and ready for coloring, whereas my wife is still working on hers and getting it to the way that she likes it. So what we need to color these now is going to be some sponge brushes and just some normal old wood stain of whatever color you've got. I'm going to check and see. Uh, I'm thinking maybe like a walnut and possibly a mahogany. I'll see what I've got and uh, I'll see you in just a minute. Well, what I ended up with is a can of red mahogany. I've got a can of ebony stain. And what's this one? This one here is Sedona red. So I, I don't know how to tell you how to do this because both my wife and I haven't got a clue. 
So what we're going to do is uh, she's still working on hers and getting the plastic melted. So I'm going to be using a sponge brush and just applying this stain to the plastics basically to give it color. And we're not trying to make it so that it is a solid color, obviously, because we're using a stain and it's on plastic. We're just trying to get it dyed a little bit. We're trying to give it the, um, the illusion of rotting skin. And we're going to do our best. I don't know how it's gonna work out, but essentially we're going to apply it with, um, apply it with the foam brush. And once we get it applied, we're gonna let it sit for a bit and then I'm gonna wipe it off. So I think I'm gonna start with a little bit of the red mahogany. And I'm not really sure what I'm doing here other than trying to add some color to uh, the skin. So I'm just kind of dabbing it around just like this. And you know what, let's add a different color. Let's add the ebony because we will have some shadows here underneath his arms where the skin would be. So let's get some darker stain, some ebony down in the lower areas down in here. just like that. And then we can finish off with the last one, which is the, uh, what, what is this? The red Sedona. Oh, that one's really red. That one's kind of cool. Okay, we're dripping all over the place here, but that's okay. We got papers down. We're not messing up my bench. Don't worry, guys. Okay. That looks kind of creepy there. Check that out. That looks kind of gross. So you're essentially going to paint this entire dog with stain, trying to get the cellophane to stand out a little better. All right, and we'll add a little bit of this ebony just like we did before. And this. Okay, and then some of that red Sedona. That gives it that bright red coloring there. All right, so once I finish getting this applied, I'm going to let it sit for just a little bit and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to use a rag and I'm going to dab this stain off of here. That looks so awesome! Use color down, down here, it is bum bum. It's very white down there. Well at this point I'm not wiping off the stain, I'm just dabbing it off. And I don't want to rub it and cause it to completely wipe clean. So I'm just going to dab this. And once I'm finished dabbing it, I'm going to take it and put it out in the sun. And hopefully the sun is going to dry this up a bit for me. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> That was really bad. All right, check that out. That's awesome. Okay, I'm gonna take this out and put it in the sun and hopefully it'll be dried up soon. Okay, so now it's time for my wife's dog. So again, she uh, can pick the colors that she wants and dab it on the way she wishes. And she'll walk you through what she's doing. She has no idea what she's doing. That's why this is a fly by the seat of your pants build. He definitely needs a name though. So if you have any ideas, make sure you tell us. Does the stain work on the bone too? 
You gotta try. I did, see? Okay, that's already looking cool. <laughs> This isn't as easy as you make it look, you know. Sure it is. It's supposed to be an old, dead, like, zombie dog. Cause are there alive zombie dogs? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Welcome to my life. Uh, you love it. <laughs> uh, oh, so white here. I'm kind of doing a base coat of this color. Remember, I don't know what I'm doing. I thought a base coat was a good idea. Still think a base coat is a good idea. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. That's all right. Even little mistakes, some like it blends in, so it looks good. I find that ebony stain is very runny. So. Good morning. Oh, he looks very zombie-ish. He looks like those dogs in that video game. Resident Evil. I was thinking yeah. that too. <laughs> of course, they are zombie dogs. The skin flap didn't end up very flappy. This had to make it flappy. Oh, I just felt my watch vibrate, but did you, did you notice you didn't hear it? <laughs> yeah, I am the one that edits, so guess what's <laughs> not making it to the show? Okay. Wait a second. This was your idea, and because of that, I have to, have to cook dinner? Yes. Welcome to my life, folks. <laughs> Refinishing made difficult <laughs> by Kenny's wife. Okay. I think I have it totally covered in this color. Definitely a very different approach from what I did. You're more artsy fartsy than I said. You're more fartsy than I am. <laughs> I mean well, that, that too, but <laughs> yeah, that you wouldn't be wrong. <laughs> Doesn't mean the viewers need to know that though. <laughs> Stuff smells terrible. Well, yeah, it's rotting flesh. <laughs> What do you think? Gross! <laughs> that is absolutely disgusting. I love it. I am I'm digging this beef jerky book. Mine's fresher than yours. Our dog had black toenails. Let's give this guy black toenails. Not that this is our this dog. Hear the fly? I did hear a fly. It's because there's rotting flesh in here. Oh my god. <laughs> See how realistic this is, folks? It's already attracting flies. <laughs> my watch just went off, but you wouldn't know it if I hadn't just told you, would you? <laughs> <laughs> Mine just went off too. <laughs> oh, timing is everything. Are you done your dog? I don't know. I'm just trying to fix that because it <laughs> looks like paint. Because I think you're going to want to go darker than what you think because don't forget you have to wipe it off still. <laughs> Do I have to wipe it off? Nope. It'll just take longer to dry. So are you done? Yeah, I don't want to wipe it off. Okay. I like the way it looks right now. She is done. Yeah. Yeah, I think I am. And there you have it. Halloween mutant zombie dogs. <laughs> Who would have ever thought that you would see this on my show? 
but through Alternative Tuesdays, you never know what you're going to see. Could you guys please stop? Thank you. Zombie dogs, what are you going to do? <laughs> Guys, this project is a lot of fun. It really is. It gives you the chance to be as creative as you want. And as you saw with both my wife and myself, we both have very different ways of doing things and very different styles when it comes to this kind of a crafty thing. And you can see with these dogs, the differences between the two, but they both look absolutely spectacular. They're going to be a great addition to this year's Halloween display. Don't think that you're going to stay clean in this project because you're not. And during the staining, as you saw, there was the latex gloves. Do yourself a favor and put them on. You'll keep the stain off your hands and keep yourself a little cleaner. Now, I use a thicker type of glove than what my wife uses and hers was dissolving with the stain. That's just the risk you take when you have the, the thinner and lower quality gloves. Um, live and learn, I guess. What are you going to say about it? <laughs> Guys, thanks so much for tuning in this week. I hope you've enjoyed the show, and, and more than enjoying the show, I hope that you're going to try this for yourself. If you have young children in your house that love Halloween and love that spooky stuff around that time of year, they would absolutely love to help you in the shop and build this project and put it together. And what better time spent than time spent with your young ones in the shop and introducing us, or introducing them rather, to crafting and woodworking and doing things with your hands to make something that makes you happy. Guys, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Click the bell so that you don't miss notifications of future programs. And I honestly hope that you're going to join me next week when I bring you yet another Alternative Tuesdays. Say goodbye, hon. Goodbye, hon.